Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Asichamba Jacob. So this is our test one on sets, indices, and algebra. So these are the three topics that we've covered, and we are writing test one. So in this test, we are not supposed to use a calculator. So no calculator allowed. So the first question here says simplify. So we need to simplify 3a minus 2a minus 3 open bracket a minus 2b close. So here, the first thing must be to get rid of the brackets. We are going to say equal to 3a minus 2 b there minus 3a plus 6b. So we have gotten rid of the brackets. So the next thing here will be to group the like terms. So we shall have 3a minus 3a minus 2b plus 6b. So we have a, a, this is what we put, b, b, and this is what we put. So we say equal to 3a minus 3b, I mean 3a minus 3a. That will just give us a zero. Here, negative 2b plus 6b, it will give us a positive 4b. So our final answer here will be 4b. All right, so we go to the next question. The next question here we need to factorize completely. So to factorize here, we shall say 5 open bracket x power 2 minus 1. So we factor out 5 is found here and here. So we factor it out and this is what we are going to remain with. Next we say equal to 5 x minus 1 x plus 1. And this is our solution. So here we use difference of two squares. So this is difference of two squares. We go to the next question. So to solve the equation here, this equation, we say 25 power x is equal to 5. So we first need to balance the bases, laws of indices. We shall have 5 power 2 there and x right here, which is, is equal to a 5. We know that 5 power 2 is the same as 25. So here, after balancing the bases, uh, laws of indices, 2 and 2 here, they are, uh, 2 and x, they are powers, they can be multiplied. We shall have 2x there as a power and uh, a 5 there. So now, this side, where 5 is, the power here is 1, okay? So now the bases are the same. We get the powers, 2x is equal to 1, divide by 2, divide by 2, x will be equal to 1 over a 2. This is our solution. Let's go to question, uh, question 4. Question 4 here, we've been given E, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And A is 1, 8. B is 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they want us to list A union B complement. So A union B complement, the answer will just be empty. Okay? You can write it like this or you can write it like this. So it's empty. So how did I know that it's empty? You first find A union B. What is A union B? So A union B is 1. What is found in A and B is 1, 2 here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if you check A union B, it's everything that is in E. Okay? So now, the complement here means we don't get anything that is found in A union B. So what is it that is found not found in A union B? It's what is here. So we just remain with empty here. Question uh, 5. We need to solve. So this is a quadratic equation. We just apply square root to both sides. So this is square root. And square root here, we have 2x minus 1 is equal to uh, 
positive or negative 5. So we have got this equation. The first one is 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 or 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 5. So we solve these two equations. And when we nicely solve them, we shall get, uh, first let me start with this one. Here 2x minus 1 is equal to 5. We shall get 2x is equal to 6 there. You divide by 2 by 2. X will be equal to 3. So this is one of the solutions. So now we get this other one. We have 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 5. So 2x minus, uh, or 2x is equal to negative 5 plus 1 which will give us uh, 2x is equal to negative 4. We divide by 2 by 2, so x will be equal to negative 2. Because 2 into negative 4 is negative 2. On this side, eh, it will cancel. So let's go to the next set of questions. So here, we need to factorize. So we shall say 6ax minus 4ay minus 3bx plus 2by. So we group we factorize by grouping. So what is it that is common on this side? It's 2a. So 2 into 6 is 3. a and a will cancel. We shall remain with x. 2 into 4 is negative uh, 2. a and a will cancel. We remain with y there. Okay? Here, what is it that is common? It's a, a negative b. So we shall remain with a, 3x because negative or negative will cancel. B and B will cancel. We shall remain with 3x. Here, negative and negative. Is, I mean, negative and positive. It's negative. Uh, okay, we shall remain with 2 and a y here. So, uh, you must keep in mind that what is here must be similar. What is here and here must be similar. Okay? So, next, we pick this. We get what is here minus what is right here. And uh, we get one of these. So this is our solution. For question 4, to evaluate. So you see what is on top here, it's a negative. So when you have got a negative power, you, you reciprocate what is inside. So we shall have 125 over 27. And then there, the power now changes. So once you change what is here, change the power. We know that a fraction power 1 over 3 is the same as the cube root. So this will be to find uh, the cube root of uh, 125 and, and 27. So 125 there, it will be 5. Here it will be 3, of which it will just be 1. Remainder 2 over 3. And this is our solution. So here now, so here we need to balance the bases. We shall have two, a, uh, 2 power 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 power uh, 4. And uh, yes, just like that. So balance the bases. Because uh, we know that uh, 2 power 4 is the same as 16. So once the bases are the same, we get the powers. So these are the powers. Okay, so we work out the powers now. We shall have... Uh, this 4 times negative 2, it's a uh, negative 8. We group the like terms, 2x plus 8x uh, is equal to 1. So when we add here, we shall get 10x is equal to 1. Divide by 10, divide by 10. So x will be equal to 1 over 10. Okay. Next, we come to this one. So this... Uh, this is our A actually, our B, we did not put our C's right here. So we're going to indicate the numbers. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so we find our A union B. So what is A union B complement? A union B complement, what is not found in A and B? So this is uh, 7 and 8. What is, what is our C? Our C is a 4,5,6,7. Now, what is A union B complement intersect C? It is a, a 7. Okay, so this is just be a 7. So you shade where 7 is found right here. And lastly, we have got a quadratic equation. So we solve the quadratic equation here. 
So first thing, put it in standard form. So it's now in standard form. You make this come this side so that you have zero to the right side. So here find the factors, two numbers such that when you multiply them, they give us a negative eight. And when you add them, they give us a negative seven. That is it, negative eight and a one. Because negative eight times one is a negative eight. Negative eight plus one is a negative seven. So once you get those, you substitute them. Okay. You substitute them, you put them right here, this and this. So this is put here and this is this one here. Now you do factorization by grouping. So we have x there, we remain with x minus 8. Here, what is common? It's a negative 1. Actually, here it's supposed to be plus. It's a negative 1. Negative one. So we shall remain with, uh, actually it's 1 plus 1. So we shall remain with x minus 8 there is equal to 0. So next, we say x plus 1 is equal to 0. This x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay? So x is equal to negative 1 and x there is equal to 8. So these are the solutions. Thank you so much for watching. This was... Uh, our test one, okay, under JSS Learning Academy. So if you have not yet joined, make sure you join so that you can be learning with us, okay? So this is the, our test one. So after every each topic or after every three topics, we do write tests, okay? So make sure you join. We offer online tuitions in mathematics, science, English, biology, additional mathematics and uh, religious education. Thank you and bye-bye.